welcome back to the estuary everybody uh, happy new year happy 2021 we're back out mudlarking with the dog squad it's a bit chilly but it's beautiful it's lovely and crisp and hopefully we're gonna go and find some good stuff so stay with us put your gloves on put your woolly hats on and come and join us You can see how thick the ice is, uh, just on this little bit here. I looked on the thermometer and it's showing about minus six, but it's lovely and dry, so it doesn't feel as cold. It's one of those lovely crisp winter mornings. It's fantastic. Look at this channel here. I've never seen it this far out. I've never been able to walk out here. Channels are changing all the time. This is what you have to be careful of when you come down on the estuary. Look at this. Never have I been able to get this far out. You can hear the geese in the distance. It's fantastic. There's Bramble enjoying herself, eating something. Now that's where I was just stood less than a minute ago. And what I missed, and I, and I wish I'd got it on camera, was a tidal bore coming up and it was just like a little two inch wall of water that came up and this is what, what you have to be careful of on the estuary I could have been further out there and now I'd be trapped but you can see here that's where I walked out, that's where Bramble was and now it's under about 12 inches of water wow, that was fantastic luckily though I just happened to turn around and see it If you look at the rock, just out there, when I walked out onto the sand with Bramble, there was no water around that rock. So all this bit here was sand when I looked. Now look at it. The tide is racing in it, has just suddenly turned. It's like someone's flipped a switch. Two minutes ago, there was nothing, but you can look behind. It's covered now. Just shows how fast the tide comes in and how it can catch people out. You can hear over there and you might be able to see it how fast the tide's coming in. Look at the waves here. Wow. Fantastic. What a fantastic thing to be able to show you. I'm amazed at how fast it's coming in. It's literally like something a switch has just been thrown. From nothing, still water, to just you know, water everywhere. Fantastic. Look at that over there, those waves. Less than five minutes ago, you could walk out to this rock. You can still hear the water. It's coming in like a train. This is how easy it is to get caught out. One minute you're walking on nice dry sand. The next minute you're up to your wasting fast running water when you look round I'm just totally in awe of nature it's just fantastic it's almost like a living a living entity in itself it's fantastic just to watch these changes it's almost a privilege Can you see that? Look what we found. It's the wick off an old lamp. I found one of these before. You can see there's the winder for turning the wick up, and that's where it would have come out of. What a fantastic little find. Oh, it's great. All the little intricate patterns around it. Looking at how fast the tides come in and covered the foreshore, I'll be very surprised if we find anything today. It has just come in like a train. I'm absolutely stunned at how fast it's covered the sand. Incredible. Psst. 
Just look at how fast that water is going. That is going a few miles an hour. Absolutely incredible. Very humbling. And you think less than 10 minutes ago, there was about 20 feet of foreshore. Okay, bubbling and rolling. Well, I'm sorry guys. Um, today we'd planned our first New Year's mudlarking expedition. But I think the tides decided otherwise. You can see behind me. Yeah, belting through. Never mind, what I'll do, um, we'll come back tomorrow. And we'll have another mudlark tomorrow. And then uh, we'll see what we can find. But for now, oh. Now you can see brambles just falling in the water. Oh no. Don't do that. Do you remember the rock I showed you before? That was sticking up about three feet. It's gone. Completely covered. So that shows how much water's come in in the last half hour. It's coming about eight feet upwards. This is why you have to respect the tides because they come in so fast and the landscape changes so quickly. You look at it now, it's full, bank full. And just an hour ago, we could have walked across there. It's fantastic. You see whether there's some sort of duck. I don't know if you can see it. Look at the difference today. Yesterday, the tide was up to uh, the grass on the other side. It came in so fast. But I've come down today. You can see the tide's well out. So hopefully, we'll find some good stuff. The estuary this morning is alive um, with birds. There's a flock of oyster catchers over there. I've seen red shank, egrets. There's a flock of, uh, I think they're mallard down there. Looks like there's geese further out. What a fantastic morning. And the tide's out. I think they've seen us. You see the ducks there scooting across to the other side. <laughs> this is the boulder I was showing you earlier on. When I first came down, you could walk that out to it between the two stones here. Within 10 minutes, this was totally underwater. It was a bit scary to see how fast this was covered. And it's about four foot high. This bowl you can see next to Bramble, how high it is. And the tide came in and it just covered. All the way over it covered that one. And almost up to the foreshore. I was just filming the dog squad. When something out the corner of my eye flashed. Now I don't know if you can see that, they're in the middle of the screen. It looks, it is. You'll see that, it's, look at that, just lying there under a rock. How weird is that? Look at the shine on that. Oh wow. That is beautiful, just lying there. Have a look. Oh, it's in one piece. It is, look at that. Hardly got any sand on it. See the bubbles in the glass. Uh, you can hear Bramble, she's trying to get in my pocket to pinch her tissue, which she has done. That is fantastic. Wow, what a thing to find. It's beautiful. It's almost, um, I don't know. Thanks, Billy. Yeah, okay. It's like pearlescent. 
you want him to play, Billy, rather than look at this. This is interesting, look. History. No? Okay. I'll throw your toy for you. Where are we? Here we go. Oh. Can you hear the geese on the far side? If you look at the water, it's hardly a breath of wind, just a gentle current. And if you think what it was like at the beginning of the video, blimey. Total contrast. So peaceful today. Dog squad are loving it. It's hard to imagine though, that yesterday where I was standing here, well where I'm standing, was underwater. Yeah, very weird. Now I don't know if you're as excited as me, but I can see something lying. Oh please be in one piece, please be in one piece, please be in one piece. Is it in one piece? Oh no, the neck's broken on it. Oh, what a fantastic bottle that is. Oh, look, really nice cleaned up. Just lying there, look. It's lying in the sand. It's fantastic, look behind us. Gotta have the boot. Billy and the boot. Oh, give me the toy, I don't know. You want me to have it? I'll have it. I don't know. He wants me to throw it, but he doesn't want to give it me. Oh well, never mind. Go on, Bill. Now, Billy seems to have found something. I'm sure it isn't a bottle. I'll go and have an investigate, see what he's found. Just looking in the water. I'm just wondering what this is here. Oh, I thought it was a full bottle. It's the base, and it says Ulverston. Can you see that? I wonder if that's a Thompson bottle. Could be. I've got one of these at home. Oh, wow, what a shame. There you go. Thompson's Ulverston. And just over here, we can make that out. So I can put my hand in without it getting soaked. It's... Oh. Nope. Sorry about that. Wonky camera. It's the top of a stone flagon. There we go, Dalton Lambeth. Now I've found one of these before. Um, Dalton, it's a very early Dalton ceramic and they traded in, in London. Fantastic. I'm going to go out onto this shingle bank. Just have a look now. You've got to be careful because it's quite loose underfoot. Okay. Oh, there we go. It's worth coming. I've got to be careful. Is this a full bottle? I think it is. Oh, wowza. And it's got writing on as well. Fantastic. It says something Lancaster and Barrow. Can you see that? Thompson's Lancaster and Barrow. Wow. What a fantastic find. Just sticking in the sand. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. What do you think, Bramble? Is it worth a good find? Yeah, you can't eat it. What are you doing? Testing the food test. If you feel the camera start shaking, I'm so, 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 so excited. Can you see it? Can you see it? I don't believe it. it's an intact pipe. Oh, wow, 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 a thousand times. Wow, look at that, it's an intact pipe. Oh, wow, oh, that is fantastic, it's in one piece. Oh, oh, wow, I'm so excited. Look at that, guys. Bramble, look. It's an intact pipe. How cool is that? Billy, look, wow, that's incredible. I'm absolutely, oh, you can probably tell how excited I am. It's just lying there on the sand. Oh, wow.
What you didn't see then, why I was getting a little bit overly excited with this pipe, was I'd sunk up to nearly half the depth of my wellies in the sand. So I had a bit of a struggle getting out. But look at that! That is incredible! I've just been having a look at this pipe and bearing in mind this is our first New Year outing it actually says for Old Lang Syne and it's got sort of two hands clasping each other how weird is that for Old Lang Syne on New Year I'm just absolutely, you can probably tell I'm absolutely amazed I'm stunned actually Hi everybody Welcome to our first roundup of uh, 2021. Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, hope you have a nice, safe, uh, prosperous and healthy New Year. Um, it's been a good start for us so far. We've had some nice weather, uh, nice and icy and cold, and we've had some good finds. Now, the first part of the video we just did, uh, I was really showing you about the tides and how fast they could move and how easy it is to be caught out. Um, but the second half, we, we did find some uh, some good things, so let's have a look, shall we? Now, the first thing we've got, I'll show you this one. It's a Thompson's uh, brewery bottle. Now, Thompson's uh, was a brewery that was founded in 1871, and, and they never actually owned a brewery. But from uh, 1932, they brewed at Hartley's in Ulverston, and they had their own brewer. Who supervised uh, what was going on but they never actually owned a brewery now before 1932 um, they brewed at Heath's brewery and also at a, a place called Whittle Springs brewery in Chorley and they had a one-third interest in that brewery but they never actually owned their own brewery um, they, they rented and and they bottled uh, their own ale but they never actually owned their own place but Thompson's did supply an awful lot of um, the pubs around the Barrow and Ulverston area so it's a lovely piece to find it's not a typical beer bottle um, maybe that was a, a pot bottle uh, I don't know but it's a lovely a lovely bottle you can see like see the writing on it as well it's on both sides embossed on both sides Thompson's Ulverston and Kendall fantastic find and to find it in one piece is incredible just looking what it says at the bottom Can't make out what it says. Dandelion. Don't have to have a look at that. I didn't notice the bottom. Let's have a look after. Now the next bottle we found was this one. This was just tucked away under a rock. Um, and it's lost a bit of its shine now I've cleaned it up. They do tend to get sort of sanded down um, with, with the, uh, the sediment in the water and they do lose the sheen a little bit. They, they, they look lovely when they're wet but as soon as they dry they um, they go a bit dull, but it's lovely that one. Uh, and if you can see there, it's a diagonal seam. So rather than it being down there and joined together, it's been it's a diagonal seam that runs down corner to corner. That's an interesting um, way of making a bottle. And if you look, you can see the bubbles inside, the bubbles in the glass. So I would imagine this was an early uh, an early bottle. This one, I really can't put a date to it, um, but it would have had a cork in, uh, and maybe I don't know, wouldn't have been liniment because that would have been a poison bottle. But the lovely things to find a little piece of history. Now, the next one was this one, I was really hoping this was intact, but it's not, the top's broken, which is a shame because it's got some lovely little marks inside. Oh, you can see at the top there's a little mark here. It's not surf, it's actually inside when it was made, when it was blown. And this is another one with a diagonal seam, corner to corner. Fantastic, they're lovely things to find. Little snippets of history. Now, the next thing, I could not believe this. You can probably tell from the video how excited I was. Look at that. That is amazing pipe in one piece. Now who was the last person to hold that in the mouth? Who was the last person to tamp a bit of tobacco down in it, light it up and have a puff? Okay. Now the 
the amazing thing about this is it has got writing on it. Let's see if I can bring it a bit towards the camera so we can see. It says for old Lang Syne. Now, how weird is that to go out on New Year's Day and over a few days later and find a pipe that says for old Lang Syne? It's a New Year's pipe found at New Year. Absolutely incredible. I was totally made up with this. And if the finds of 2021 are as this good, it's going to be a really, really good year. That was fantastic. A bit of discoloration on that side. That side is almost perfect. And it was just lying on the sand. Incredible. Oh, even the heels intact underneath there. Fantastic. What a great piece of history to find just lying on the sand. For old Lang Syne. So that's our first roundup of the new year. We've got some brilliant finds, hopefully. Um, we'll keep finding some good stuff and we'll keep sharing it with you uh, and you'll all keep watching so thank you very much guys we really do appreciate it and if you do like the videos press down in this bottom corner where it says subscribe uh, and give us a like and it'll be great and, and we'll keep I love making the videos and the dogs enjoy as well um, so we'll see you soon see you next time stay safe guys bye